This aircraft is my Mallard Duck and it's been under development now for several months. Uh, you'll notice the head is down right now. It has two modes. One is up as you can see in this picture for takeoff and landing. And here I am articulating it, uh, showing you the up position and the down position. Uh, one of the reasons this has been in development so long is getting the thrust angles right first in the uh, head down position and then the head up position and then also uh, working the center of gravity transition uh, obviously with the head down I fly with a forward CG and with the head up I fly with an aft CG. The aircraft has a 33 inch wingspan and weighs 9 ounces. You saw the very first water takeoff, actually that was the second, and uh, but that was the first water landing. I had had a receiver issue earlier in its development when we first took it out to a lake so I didn't get the land on the water. Uh, there is the uh, second takeoff from the water. I have a lot of flights on this airplane. It just happened that this was the day that I finally got to do some real lake flying. Hadn't flown it in a while so I had to get accustomed to it. You'll see as the video goes on that I get uh, get more comfortable with it. It really has no bad habits. It's just that I've invested so much of my time getting it to uh, fly right and fighting servo issues with a uh, servo that uh, I had gotten from uh, one of the better known manufacturers. Anyway, there was some rolls. And here we come up into a loop. This this plane really does nice loops. You can see that I had no trouble or fear about flying it at low altitude. Uh, I do have some clips coming up here of head transitions. Uh, my technique uh, prior to landing is to roll inverted, cut the throttle, and then lower the head. And then after lowering the head, pull into a half outside, half inside loop to upright and then land. Now I think here I've articulated the head up for landing and I'm doing a flyby so you can see that the head is in the up position. The uh, craft becomes very mushy with the FCG and the, the up thrust that's required when the head is in the uh, up position. But you'll see that uh, it lands like just in the first landing. Uh, landings are very easy and it does take off the water very easily surprisingly for its wide body. Uh, don't seem to have too much adhesion problems. This was the uh, third flight today. Uh, it, my plan had been to take off and uh, circle around and then put the head down at close camera angle but you got to understand that I, uh, I'm still getting used to all the switches on the transmitter to do that and uh, although it looked like I almost planted it I I didn't really come that close uh, but here's you'll get a lot of nice passes and a lot a good view of what the uh, duck looks like in the air we had a uh, several people with cameras wanting to shoot pictures so I made a a bunch of low flybys uh, of course here's a loop again uh, the aircraft really loops well for the forward CG, but I suspect I'm getting one heck of a lot of body lift out of the big, wide, fat body. There you saw a, a couple consecutive rolls. Another little flyby. It's a very uh, attractive plane in the air. Although when it's sitting on the ground, it's just that uh, mallard dirt brown with the green head and the blue uh, on the wings. I use the uh, flap switch on the transmitter to articulate the head and to put elevator trim in. Again, Mena this Heritage Lake up at Menifee is just a really nice place to fly. And today was just absolutely gorgeous, almost no wind. And temperatures were pushing the 90s by uh, noon time. Of course, we started early and uh, it was a comfortable 75 degrees when we started.
There I went through the head articulation process again, rolling inverted, cutting the throttle, and setting the head back. And as you can see, uh, it does land quite gently. I thank you for watching.